Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a year since I did my rear spaces on the car. Now, I finally got front spaces for the 370Z. Yes, yeah, so I finally got 20mm spaces for the fronts. I got the Z1 Motorsports one. Z1 Motorsports, <laughs> you can't really see that. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna be installing them today and finally all gonna be flush <laughs> after a year. But um, yeah, should be fun. But I did kind of prep them. I cleaned them up as best as I could. I'm just gonna go and clean like the surface of the hub. The difference between the fronts and the rears is this, that's a, a safety bolt. So you can't put different wheels on it, I guess. Well, it's like that. Damn, that sounded nice. I'm pretty excited as I got the rears pretty flush. I'm excited for the fronts to finally be flush. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna spray some degrees around there. Then I'm gonna take a wire brush and I'm gonna clean the surface so it gets good contact, so it doesn't slip or anything like that. But first, we're gonna take off this safety bolt. It's a, it's a 12 mil bolt. And, and then we're gonna start cleaning this. Now I'm just going to strip the spacer and we'll put some anti-seize lubricant on the back of this just so when it's time for this to come off, it will come off because I I test fitted this onto the hub and it's such a snug fit, so which is a really good thing but yeah I don't want this to be actually stuck onto the hub. So now that's all covered, I'm going to put some blue thread lock onto these studs so um, the, the nuts won't come loose and my wheel won't fall off. So let's do that. I guess I'll do. So it's time to chuck these spaces on. I'll show you what I mean by a very, very snug fit. So the first time I test fitted these, I was like, why isn't it going on? Like, that space there, and when I push that down, it just comes up. And I was like, I was scared. With a bit of wriggling around, these, got into place, which I'm stoked about. So, everything is pretty much lined up. I just gotta um, tie these up and then torque them up to spec. And that's pretty much it. Right, so the torque specs for these, some people say go with the, the OEM torque for, for these, which is 80 foot pounds, or you go up to like 85 foot pounds to be safe. There's a couple people that said go for 95 foot pounds. I'm gonna go with 85 foot pounds. All right, sweet. So that's all talked up to 85 foot pounds. Get someone to help you out um, by pressing down on the brake so you can torque it up or just put a rod um, against your brake pedal. My assistant right now. So yeah, that worked. So moment of truth, let's get the first wheel on and let's see how it looks. So excited. All right, let's do this. The first wheel is on. Um, it's not on the ground yet. Um, I need to do the other side, but damn, that looks so good. We'll see how it looks when it's on the floor. Let's do the other side and then we'll drop it down and we'll see how it looks.
All right, sweet. So both sides are done. Let's lower the car and let's see how it looks. I'm excited. All right, so drop the car down and let me show you guys. That's the front space is done, rear space is done. Looks so nice right now. Like, I've been waiting a long time for this. So I've got 25 mil spaces for the rears and 20 mil for the front. And I think that's like perfect. I can't wait till I lower the car because that's just gonna look so nice. I'm happy, I'm happy that's done. I'm happy that I finally got front spaces and um, yeah, it's so nice now. I'm so happy. God damn, that's so sexy. So happy that's done and finished. Now it's just lowering the car and yeah, some other shit. Make sure you watch the video on my rear spaces for a more detailed um, explanation on, on how to install them. Um, but yeah, cheers for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Smash that subscribe button and that like button. And see you guys next time. Peace.